Hello and welcome to another Ultra Game Template tutorial. And in this tutorial, we need to talk about a very controversial topic lately with Unreal Engine, which is the Precash Shader compilation. Because as you have probably listened in, over the internet, uh, maybe in Digital Foundry or other game devs, Unreal Engine suffers from a problem of shader stuttering on, on platforms like PC, Mac, or Linux. Uh, so, first of all, let's explain what's the problem in a real-world example with a game of, of mine, and then we will see how uh, UGD Ultra Game Template actually handles the problem, okay? So the problem with the shader compilation is this one. I have this recorded because if I record it while the shaders are compiling, my voice will, will totally good, but this is a real case scenario, there's nothing, uh, there's, there are no dirty tricks done in the video. So the problem with shader compilations is if, uh, for platforms like PC, we have many, many different kinds of GPU, and it would be virtually impossible to precompile all the shaders necessary to run the game in a package project, okay, for every GPU. This does not happen in consoles, okay, because uh, every PS5 has the same GPU, and there we can pack the compiled shaders, okay, but not in platforms like PC. So right now I'm going to the NVIDIA control panel and I'm going to force the shader cache size to be disabled, okay. By doing so, I am going to totally remove all the shaders that were already compiled in my PC for every game, okay. I'm going to apply the settings, and now I'm going to open a level of my previously released game, okay? And I'm going to open a level from the chapters menu, and from there, uh, all chapters are unlocked by default, and shaders do not get compiled. And you'll see what's the issue uh, we are talking about here. Okay, let's continue. And then we go to play, chapters, and I'm going to go to decimated neighborhood. And the problem is super obvious, like, <laughs> there's no need to tell you what's going on. This is a complete mess. The open level has been performed, okay, but everything is still loading, everything is still uh, popping up, even the lights, the texture are low resolution, the frame rate is through the floor, and everything is a mess. Even, even, everything is a mess, even if when things apparently look uh, uh, correct. So, you will see in a second that everything will look correct, and then it will start to move and I will suffer the, the shooters. So right now everything seems correct now, but if I move, pop, one shooter, two shooters, three shooters, we don't really want that, okay? We need a method to avoid this. So what I'm going to show you is how this method is implemented in Horror Tales the Bear, which is a very similar method that you will find uh, in the Ultra Game template. So I'm going to go back to the NVIDIA control panel, okay? And I'm going to uh, allow for normal shader distribution, okay? In shader cut size, uh, we're going to choose driver default, we're going to apply. And of course, uh, let me go a little bit. If I enter that level again, okay? If I enter this level ag again, the shaders are uh, compiling they are slightly faster, okay? Now the physics of the model, uh, this is not through the floor and now I can solve the puzzle correctly. Okay, because this is again the first time that it's happening because there were no previous shaders compiled uh, previously. But look what happens now when I re-enter this level for a second time. If I go to chapters and then go, go to the simulated neighborhood, suddenly, oh, everything is working as intended from the first second. Why is that? Because the shaders are already pre-compiled because I have already visited this level once, okay? So we have various ways to solve this, okay? And now I can solve the puzzle or do whatever I want, I, I don't know. Anyway, we have uh, various ways uh, to solve this. Uh, the first way is uh, something uh, that can help. I will leave a link to this tutorial in the description. Uh, this, that, and that is setting PCO precaution and bundle PSO from Real Engine. Okay, this does help, but it is not perfect. It is still has some problems. Okay, so the method I implemented in my previous game and is also a method that is going to be uh, implemented for you to use in Ultra Game Template is this one. So it's a, actually a really simple method, and it's this little method over here. We'll see in a second. So I open the game, okay, this is the intro slide credits, blah, 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 okay, this is fantastic. And now I play play new game, and now this 
screen appears. So what is going on behind this screen here? Uh, what is what's going on here is I am actually opening behind the screen every level of the game, okay? And then instantly after opening the level, I am actually destroying the player and all the artificial intelligence and all the interactions. And then I spend between seven and ten seconds in each level, okay? Just just chilling there, doing absolutely nothing, waiting for the shaders to uh, start uh, loading in each level, okay? So the shader compilation is going to continue, okay? And when it's going to the end, this is the game welcome level. If you you, if you can already use this in the in the um, ultra game template, okay? And if you use the if you use this and shader compilation on PC platforms, uh, this screen is going to be always uh, after shader compilation. So if you have any cinematic or something, it won't automatically start because some players, when they do shadow compilation, they go away and then they do something and then they come back once it's finished. So uh, now that it is done, I have never visited and I have no any shadow of the Into Cinematic yet. It's the first time I visit this level, but it's a lie. Really, it's not the first time. It's the second time. I know, I know uh, this method is kind of a little bit of brute force because essentially what we are doing is going through every level and spend some time there to let unreal compile the shaders and uh, but it works it works fantastic and it has uh, no errors or stutters so let's learn how to make that in ultra game template so first thing first we're going to go to default game data asset okay and we are going to make sure that we are using shader compilation so here in the details i'm going to search for shaders and i'm going to untick force no shader compilation on pc because we have been dealing with new things and then just to showcase uh, other features okay when to do shader compilation on pc i'm instead of new game i'm going to select to select on game first launch and uh, just for again uh, showcasing purposes i'm going to search here mini and i'm going to make sure that i don't have disabled the mini config menu on first launch and the shader compilation, uh, as it works, okay, is it's going to iterate either the chapters in order or the demo chapters in order, okay, one by one. Let's make sure I am not in a demo. So this demo is false too. And then it will use these maps over here, okay. And what it is going to do is, is super simple. What it's going to do is go through every level and start compile, is, is, is spend there a little bit of time, okay. So, uh, aside from the chapters level, if we go back down to the shader compilation, you can choose some images uh, to show the player while the shaders are compiling, okay? You can also choose how much time you want to spend per level, okay? But this is very important because we don't now have an additional shader compilation maps. And we're going to make a new entry, and we're going to call this entry bfx underscore so I'm going to copy this name and now, yeah, you guessed that I'm going to make a new level. Okay, I'm going to make a basic level and I'm going to save this level in the third person maps and I'm going to call this BFX Zoo. Okay, so once we have this here, let's imagine that my game has uh, is a shooter and it has many effects, okay? When you shoot the weapon, explosion, whatever you want, which is something that you usually spawn using an spawn... Uh, 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 effect uh, or spawn particle allocation or whatever method you want to use. This and complex materials, like a very complex ocean material or whatever you want, okay, or something that gets spawned uh, during gameplay, my uh, uh, my recommendation is to actually we're going uh, make a level, a zoo level, and you put all those particles and special materials in that level. So for example, here, I'm going to add and I'm going to add a new feature or content pack. I'm going to go to content and I'm just going to go to starter content, okay? This is only so you can see what's going on under the hood, okay? And I have here the starter content, fantastic. And in this uh, amazing level, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to starter content and particles. This obviously can also be Niagara. These are super old particles. This is just for demonstration purposes. And I'm just going to put me all the particles over here and I'm going to save. But I'm not finished because if we want the shader compilation to be working in this level, in the event begin play of your zoo levels, and you can have as many as you want, we are going to put here a set up UGT game. 
okay and now with that everything should work okay this is where the tutorial actually ends but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to ultra game template and to show you what's happening under the shader compilation screen i'm going to grab this over here and i'm going to set opacity to zero i'm going to grab this here opacity to zero and i'm going to grab this here and i'm going to say opacity to zero where is this this is one okay and it's the images that i want to zero and this border over here i'm just going to play a little bit with it so you see what's happening under the hood okay this is not something that you should be doing of course and aside from that i think that here in the shader compilation i have an additional star camera fade to make sure that everything is pitch black and i'm also going to bypass this to show you what's happening again this is not necessary but this is uh, something i'm doing to show you what's happening under the hood and this node over here what it's going to do is hey are the shaders compiled and if they are not compiled this uh, is going to be spawning and it's going to take care to destroy the character and all the logic and blah 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 okay so let's go let's do this uh, let's make sure that we don't have the shaders saved so i'm going to delete all this fantastic and because we choose to do shader compilation after the mini launch config menu i'm going to go to launcher map and just in case let me make sure that we are testing pc and not any console or something because of course a shader compilation only occurs on pc so okay we are good to go we are in the mini config menu and we am, then i'm going to click continue and as you will see Shaders should be compiling now, and we are iterating through various levels, as you can see, which are all the levels in my game. This is the black, pitch black level. Now we're going to go to the sunset level. Okay, and we're going to spend some time here, four seconds, and this is the zoo that I just made. Okay, we're going to spend some time here, and then in the last level, and we are done. So now the shader compilation has finished, and now we, what we we have normal game progression and i can do whatever i want so i can start a new game or do whatever okay the shaders are already compiled this is the game welcome screen that you know you can already disable or do whatever you want and now i'm playing and i have as well already visited each level of my game all right so this is the way to make sure that shaders are compiled on uh, computer platforms this is all for this tutorial i hope you find it useful and see you in the next one